Hey guys, this is Rodeska, and I'm coming to you with a quick tip for getting your low poly in replacing your high poly with your low poly so that you can do your cleanup for your high poly. All right, uh, I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to replace uh, this high poly, this high poly uh, mesh with a low poly so that we can clean it up more to get um, better results from our high poly sculpts. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set the stage. So you're going to click on home stage. Um, so with this mesh, I only have one mesh here, right? Uh, this is using an array mesh. So if I turn this off, you can see I'm using an array mesh. So I only have one mesh here, technically. So what I did was I set this as my home stage inside of geometry, set home stage, click this button. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your deformation and hit unify. What that's going to do is it's going to center it at the uh, center of the world. So if I hit uh, switch stage, you can see that unify is going to center it at the center of the world right here. If I pop up my floor, you can see that this is my uh, this is my floor, right? And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to click target stage. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to kind of work on it at the center of the world, but also it's going to do a neat little trick, all right? So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to export this high poly into whatever application you're using for your high poly uh, retopo. So in this case, I'm using 3D Coat. And you're going to retopo this as best as you possibly can, you know, keeping your support loops and all of that. Uh, then, you're wanna, then you're going to want to, since we're able to use symmetry with this, since it's at the center of the world, uh, since we unified it, what you're going to want to do is let me actually fix this All right what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to mesh apply symmetry to all layers then go to mesh export and export it as your low poly then back inside of zbrush once you're done uh, exporting it as your low poly do not touch any of this stuff okay you're going to want to come over to import uh, so look for your low poly mesh and hit open. That's going to bring in your low poly uh, mesh that you just made for high poly, for high poly cleanup. And then you're just going to hit switch stage. And there you go. It's as easy as that. All right. So now you have your low poly in here. It's set at the same position as it was. And you can then switch them back and forth if need be. Um, I use uh, local symmetry to make sure that I'm always... Um, editing uh, properly instead of uh, clicking symmetry and then only doing one side. Um, I click local symmetry to work on both sides. Uh, and then I go into my array mesh and turn that on. And you can see that it's uh, on the X mirror. So it's basically uh, simulating um, the shoes for me. And all I have to do is just work on one shoe. All right. So this has been a quick tip by Rodesca. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. All right. Take care, guys.